never been kissed or had experience kissing? Never, never been kissed. <laughs> Great. This is your opportunity to listen to my presentation. My name is Janice Abad, and I will be discussing how to be a good kisser. Okay. So I will start with uh, my presentation. So, um, like any other skill, kissing it also takes a lot of practice. So, um, kissing would have to be, would you know, start with just you know, um, with a partner. It can, it can't be done just by yourself. So, it needs to have, you have to have a partner, and then from there you can practice a lot. I mean, you can have um, opportunities to have <laughs> to practice kissing. So, my agenda for today would be type of kissing do's and the don'ts, and tips and techniques. Um, <laughs> okay, so as an introduction, um, I would like to define first a kiss. A kiss is an act of pressing one's lips against the other lips or other parts of any, or of another or any object. Okay, so cultural connotations of kissing vary widely. Depending on the culture and context of the kiss can express sentiments of their love, passion, affection, respect, greeting, and good luck among many others. A kiss can also be a gesture of um, or a symbol of a ritual. Like for example, a wedding. After the end of the wedding, um, the couples kiss and that signifies the symbols of a one, like the song to become one, something like that. Okay, so I'll move on. So point, pointer one would be the type of the kiss. So um, basically there's a lot of uh, type of kisses available in the Google. But what I choose here is just some of my favorite type of kisses. So the first one is a butterfly kiss. A butterfly, a butterfly kiss is, um, is like you move closer to your partner and then you allow your lashes, your eyelashes to touch his face giving a very smooth sensation. Sound so that, that's why it's called butterfly kiss. <laughs> I'll try that later. <laughs> I'll try that later if you still have time. Okay, so number two for the Eskimo kiss. If you know Eskimos lo loves to, um, to rub their noses when they see their families or relatives, so Eskimos kiss, it's like rubbing your nose against your partner while kissing. It's more of an affectionate way of, you know, um, showing how you are passionate about your kiss by rubbing your nose. And the third one would be the hot and cold kiss. Hot and cold kiss is that um, hot is that you lick your your partner's lips a little. It gives it a warm sensation, and then you blow a little air on it after licking it. It gives a, a hot and cold kiss. So that's a hot and cold kiss. Okay, so number four would be a nip kiss. Anyone have an idea what a nip kiss is? A nip kiss is you nibble, you nibble your partner's lips a little. But of course, you have to be careful um, biting your your <laughs> don't bite your um, your partner's lips. Okay. So uh, for the last one would be the wake up kiss. This is my favorite one. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> this this does, does not allow. Um, more of a technique, it's more of a time, a time manner. Like, um, you have to think if, if, if your partner is still sleeping or just take a nap, when he's about to wake up or she's about to wake up, you try to kiss them on the cheek first and then go into the lips and then you just whisper, good morning baby, or hey, so, something like that. That's the wake up kiss. <laughs> okay, so I'll move on to the pointers two. Point two would be the do's and the don'ts. I'll start with the do's. The do's, of course, do breathe. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so uh, creepy. I mean, it, it's frantically scary if your partner would, you know, violently gasp for, for air if he keeps on, <laughs> if he keeps on um, holding his breath while kissing. So it's really important to, you know, breathe through your nose or just push a little back way and then start kissing again. Okay, so for the number two would be you have a to have do have a fresh breath. Of course, 
who wants to have a partner who smells like, you know, um, an old aquarium or <laughs> who eats onion recently? <laughs> yeah, he, have you ever smelled, you know, an, an old aquarium that's never been washed? Sometimes there are people when they wake up they smell like that. <laughs> you don't want to be shit. Among you who wants to kiss someone like that? Of course not. So before you kiss, of course, make try to just you know brush your teeth or pop a mint before kissing. Okay, for number three, do reciprocate their their kissing and be active. You don't want to be a a, a, a kissing post. Of course, you have to reciprocate and give back the actions while you, you know, kiss your partner. And then do also, do gentle, not violent. You don't want to scare your partner. Who am I kissing like that? Or is this Satan that I'm kissing? He wants to do some more, you know, active <laughs> um, kissing. And then for the number five, use your hands. Of course, kissing is just not uh, just, you know, about your lips. You have to move your hands also, touch the bed, um, touch your partner's head or the back something like that, to make it more passionate. And then pay attention to your partner. It's not all about, kissing is not all about you. It, it, it also allows your partner to feel good about themselves as well. Okay, so um, point two, the don'ts. Okay, don't, to, don't use too much tongue or really uh, s stiff tongue. That's, that's really, I mean, for me, I'm not sure to anybody, but more of, more of the people I've talked to they don't really like French kissing. It's not really that much. Um, if you were a beginner or if you just recently um, meet your partner, something like that. So you don't, don't use too much tongue. And then don't lick their teeth. Why would anyone lick their teeth? <laughs> you know, or, or if they just eat something sweet, you wanted to taste it as well, but it's a don't. Okay, so number three is also kiss. Don't kiss with your eyes open. It's kind of creepy when you peep, your partner is just staring at you, <laughs> right? So um, the fourth one is don't salivate everywhere. It's a slobbery kissing isn't cool. Nobody wants that. If you feel like you're salivating too much, at least try to back out a little and then swallow your saliva <laughs> and then try kissing again. <laughs> and and the move, don't move too fast. Moving too fast, I mean, like not literally just you know, kissing too fast, that's, that's really odd to do, or also your hands, just control yourself a little. Okay, so for the last part would be tips and techniques. Um, you, what you need to do is just start slow. For me, the slower, the hotter, and feel your partner. You don't just kiss somebody, you just make, you have to make sure that you feel your partner's existence and how they, they feel about your kiss as well. and. Um, third one, don't push your tongue too soon. Just what I explained a while ago. That's really a no-no. Okay, so for the fourth one, multiple contact points. Just also what I mentioned a while ago, use your hands. Touch your partner's head or the back to give it more passionate kiss. And the last one is know when to quit. A good kisser always knows when to stop kissing. Not to bore your partner, but of course, if you feel like you're having saliva, a lot of saliva already. Okay, so that will be the last part. What I have something for you is that you already know what is um, what are the tips and what is the do's and the don'ts of kissing. And uh, you can just go to your partner and try it to yourself if you're really a good kisser. That's it.